studio. And that's that's uh, in a green screen. Yeah, you make yeah, a green yeah, screen yeah, yeah, so you can yeah. cut out the background. Yeah. Well, that's what I bought that for a long time ago. Uh, um, yeah, mate and, I, mate and I, we tried to make this green screen thing happen. And so that was just leftover stuff. That's all. But it's just to block the sound. Listen, it used to go. Yeah, right. It's just better. I don't know. I love it. Does- I, hate, I hate the color green. Can I be honest? Green. I just hate it. Does anyone, Not, yeah. like, why do you hate it though? I don't know. I don't know. It's funny. If someone says they like the colour green, I kind of, since day one, I kind of go, I don't like that colour. Isn't it weird? That that means you're that kind of person. That's weird. I don't understand you. It's really Do you get strange. many comments about what's with the material hanging from the ceiling? Uh, yes. Are you gonna <laughs> Are you going to do something about that? Because yeah. it looks so good in here, apart from the green material. I know. Well, it definitely needs sound deadening, you know. And uh, that's it for now. So is this where I'm moving into? You can. You should. OMG, stop it. You should do some work Just here Just one week. day a week. You should. You we really need should. to get our thing going on again. Yeah. Or two days a week. Yep. Yep. I want to see you walking out of that, those steps going, I can't fucking believe what he said. <laughs> he wants to be on the first stage. Well, guess what? You're on the poster. Well, Remember those days? Yeah. Remember. Yeah. Oh, I know who you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was Cindy Meltdown, that was. Yeah. Remember that. Yeah. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> That's so good. Oh, the talent that's coming through this year, Drew. I don't even think I'd approve the Titanics this year. The yeah, talent we're not doing it. No, you're not doing it. Are you you don't not doing it? No. Are oh, you gonna break my heart? No? You nah. just wanna hang out and enjoy? Yeah. Are you gonna turn up and-, and 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 I mean it when I say it, like we are a cover band. We'd have to get an act together. Like the first time we played we actually put a little acoustic act together you in a way. You were great the first time. Yeah, year. and it was fun. We actually made something yeah, yeah. out of nothing and we sold that. Remember, the second year, everyone, everyone was, was like, yeah. and when the Titanics, that comedy and covers night I put on, how they were all there to see you. Everyone loved the Titanics from that and first Ellen year. Oh, yes. But yeah. everyone was like, Titanics, Titanics, yeah. amazing. But this year, last year. Yeah. It all went pear shaped yeah, for you. I it was felt just wrong. For you. I felt for you. Everyone, I was yeah. standing there going, but the the photos tell a different story. Great photos that oh. Billy photography took. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my. But yeah, tr- um. It's, can I tell you something? When when you're you you may get this when you're singing in front of your crowd. No. Nah. If one little thing goes wrong and it rocks your confidence, oh my god, it's it's like. You can't run away and you look around at your mates on stage and you go, this is dog shit. Like, like come on. Whatever it is, we need to come, – can't, can't we – ah! But that's – you know, with our band, there's going to be that many members. If I do have a meltdown, you'll all be able to save me. Right? No, because you'll be the spotlight. Yeah, but no one will know who I am, so I'll be, I'll be cool with that. What if the, what if the thing comes off? <laughs> Costume malfunction. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, It'll be all good. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> so what went wrong then? You know, I didn't once did a gig uh, with the Bull Rush boys and it was a great gig too. I think we supported uh, – no, we didn't. No, we didn't. Anyway, there's a lot of crowd there, massive crowd at the Springwood Pub once. We put four Xboxes on our heads and ran out with just in um, jocks and uh, boots. Really? Yeah. <laughs> it was Seriously? a great feeling, but like, yeah. No. We did, and then we did the whole gig. And I, I remember doing, like, getting really sweaty. And I was wearing jocks, like, not. Boots and boots, is that it? Yeah. And, but I remember I didn't even have good jocks. These were just jocks. We made the decision, let's put these boxes on our head. And I just have run a really out bad visual going. But on. The, the sweat, I remember looking down at my uh, balls area. And the sweat was just like stuck on my body. So everything was fully visible. And I, and I was like, oh, this is a bit weird now, all of a sudden after five songs. First it was like, yeah, yeah, real fun. The boxes came off. But then it was like, oh, okay, it's time to let go. How many, was, how many years ago was this, Drew? Uh, 1994. Okay. Maybe. Yeah, right. Yeah, long time ago. Mm. I, can, <laughs> I can't, can't even imagine. Uh. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. 
Everyone loved it. Were they knee-high cowboy boots, at least? No, just boots. You know, like shoes, boots. That's hilarious. Can I tell you a funny story? You know how I organise a music festival? Yeah. I just looked over at your drum kit and it reminded me. I went to Tamworth, as I said to you, um, and we're sitting there just in this big, massive pub watching this band and they were rocking it. They were amazing. And I, I looked over at the drum kit and it had the Backline Company. And I'm like, man, I'm going to buy their CD. I love that band. They are fucking amazing. <laughs> the Backline Company, I'm sitting there on my phone Googling it. I've got to find out who these, where they're from and, you know, find out their story. Yeah. And Dan, the sound guy, turns to me and he's like, Cindy, are you serious? And I'm like, yeah, fuck, how amazing are they? Turns out they were the company. I didn't even know yeah, what like backline hired, meant. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, there's Gold Coast backline. Seriously, really? Yeah, yeah. How stupid am I? Yeah. And I organise a music festival. Seriously, there was that's that why you're one good time. though. That's why you're good. It's not you're not you don't know everything. It's not like no, we're not doing that in my festival because I know everything about everything. It's like. You're absorbing new information. Yeah, yeah. Let's well, the do other, that. Yeah, let's do that. The other one, how embarrassing let's is this? Let's get the backline company here. How embarrassing is this? Yeah. I get asked, so I'm organising these musos, like full, like headline act gigs, like big gigs at big venues. And they're like, one in particular turns around and says, so do we get a rider? Do we get a rider? And I'm like, what the fuck? You want to ride to the actual venue? Like, is that like normal in the industry? What are you what, talking about? one rider? <laughs> are you like a jockey? <laughs> are you talking about like limo? What? You know, Camry? What, what, at what you do like, I have to put oh into the budget? God. <laughs> no, it was over the phone. I'll never forget it. <laughs> and then, and then he's like, Cindy, seriously, do you, are you serious? What? Yeah, tell me. Yeah, and then he educated yeah. me on that. How embarrassing! Well, it's I not fucking a- piss myself laughing for about <laughs> yeah. twenty minutes. We laughed, and yeah. I said, "You know what? I'm so glad it was you yeah. to this particular person." Right. And he was, he is like one of the biggest names that I've had. Yeah, and he was just like, cool. "You know what? Okay. That's why we love you." Yeah, yeah, yeah it's true. It's true. But man, riders. No one gets riders anymore. Bullshit. Anyway. Do you know what? He rung me up the next day and he's like, Cindy, our band, we felt like rock stars. We walked in. We had a green room. There was like cartons of beer. There was a wow. bottles of Jim Beam, bottles of vodka. They brought food in the whole time. What? We've never been treated so well. I know, right? I want you to ask me who that, where that venue is off air. <laughs> Yeah. Let's not ruin it for him. No one can believe it. That's amazing, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And this is a guy who's play who played 185 gigs last year wow. around Australia and the world. That's great. And he was like, I've never felt like a rock star like we did that night. That's great. That's what I was talking about Ellen Briggs about. That, yeah. That she'll do uh, – they'll do big comedy shows in, say, some RSL yeah. out of town, Big, and it's a big event. They'll, they'll pack out the room, but – the actual people that work at the RSL have no idea and they don't. What do you mean they have well, no idea? Well, they'll just like go, oh, yeah, you're the next event. You're Like there's not an events person at a lot of right. these places who don't think to make sure the talent just has a little bit of something yeah, and yeah. like, oh, my God, we're going to need some lights. There's a whole – there's 200 yeah. people booked here. Yeah. We're going to have to – let's do something here that makes this special for mm-hmm. both of us and mm-hmm. – oh, you know, so to think there's a pub out there or whatever they are giving a rider so that everyone talks about it. Oh, my yeah, God. Totally. And has this positive feeling about totally. whoever works there. And it doesn't take much, right? Really, how much are you going to drink when you're performing? Yeah. You know, two or three beers maybe. You know, it yeah. goes a long way. Because yeah. now he's out there spruiking. Oh, my God, this is. That's right. Can you tell me? Amazing. Yeah, off air. Yeah. Um, Gold Coast? Yeah. So Great. now getting back to our, you yeah. know, debut duo presenting gig, yeah. I've bought my outfit. Yeah. It's a full onesie sequenced black. Wow. So have you got a sequins jacket? No, but you know what? I've already lost a kilo uh, um, uh, and a half, I reckon. I- I've been thinking this lately. I need a suit. I need some sort of, you know what I mean, like rock and roll suit, not like a, you know what I mean, something like a bit. Uh, Crazy. 
Rock and roll. Yeah, but not like a business suit. Yeah. Something that's, you know what I mean? It's something that's cool. Like I pitch you I've in. I've got no sequence. I've got, hey, my man. Purple see. velvet jacket. Calm down. Yes. I need hair for that. But need, no, need we need to setup. look. We right. need to, you know. Bit zany? <laughs> well, that's our address anyway, normally. I don't think I understand the concept anyway. Of so what? we're presenting a certain amount of hours. Like, yeah, yeah, four hours. What's it called again? Freaks and Beats. So right, so you know, I don't even know the venue. Right, so it's an outdoor thing. Yeah, it's outdoor. And Main stage area takes up to two thousand people in the crowd. It's a big. It's at night quarter. No, I'm scared. Yeah, two thousand people will be watching us. Do they get that many people? Yes. Wow. Yeah, yeah, it's full. So next up. Yes, but I want to do the like. You know, a bit of an intro, a bit like you did for Buskers, a bit about the act, like, yeah. you know, Space Cowboys done 55,000, you know, Guinness Book of Records or, yeah. you know, a bit of the backstory. Did right. you know he can, you know, okay. he had to get, you know, uh, what do they call them? <laughs> uh, magnets implanted into his, his chest. body to, you know, steer the swords away from his heart. <sighs> Yeah. Okay, yeah, right. Story, stories, you know. Right, so a little bit like... Uh, we are part of the act. Okay, I'm putting it to you now that a little bit sideshow. Yeah. A little bit uh, top hat. <gasps> I can wear my sequin Swansea with a top hat. Yes. You know what yes. I'm saying? Roll up, roll up kind of gear. Oh, my God, stop it, tails. <laughs> well, mine's roll up. Ro- I look like the... Fe- you know the magician... Like sidekick they get, the girl that jumps into the box. Yes. That's what my outfit looks like. Ooh. So I'm pretty well sorted When I think there. onesie, do you mean like a tight onesie? Oh, yeah. It's super oh, really? Tight. It's I was tight. thinging like a cow. It's, no, no, it's <laughs> that tight. It doesn't actually fit me yet. Oh. I, bought, <laughs> I bought it a size too small. <laughs> wow. as, Have you put as, it on yet? As incentive to, you know, get that beach running up on? and running. Beach running up and running. Uh, have I put it on? I told you it wouldn't go up. So oh. I, I, I I'll try in another couple of weeks and I'm sure it's just going to look smashing. Wow. You know what I'm thinking? What? Camel toe. Camel Possibly. <laughs> really? But it's full sequence. Did you see that? So- <laughs> <laughs> I saw this thing on, on uh, Twitter <laughs> that you can buy camel toes. Like, um, really? You can actually buy an implant. No, <laughs> yeah. serious. I was going to share. Dude, it. You spend too much sh- time on social media. I was going to share it. I thought, don't be a creep, dude. You, my brother actually got a camel tattooed on his toe in Thailand. Oh my god! <laughs> it's seriously. Does he, does what is with kiss? you guys and camel toes? <laughs> does that win, win with the ladies? <laughs> I love it. I kid you not. It's a true story. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> it's this tiny little. Camel. You haven't got tattoos. Oh, you do. Yeah, I'm actually getting another one on my whole hand. Why? Right, silence. Do you hear that silence? Folks? Yeah. Why? I don't, yeah. I don't know why. I don't know why. You know, I had this. I was thinking yes yesterday when I was running. For You're thinking some about reason, me too much, Drew. Oh yeah. <laughs> For some reason, <laughs> I came up with this analogy of why. <laughs> Like, oh, maybe it's this. I, I, I love women's skin. It's skin. Ugh, you know what I mean? Like, the, it's an attract, like, you're, you're attracted to women's skin, you know? And they, if they don't get the tattoo right, to me, personally, only me, and everyone's going to hate me for it, I put it, it's like you've got hot butter, hot butter. Butter lips. And someone's put Vegemite in the butter. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, eh, you're like, eh, okay. Um, That's me. Right. That's me. When I see, like, you often see girls with, like, beaut legs and there's yeah, a yeah. big, big tattoo on their, like, top of their thigh. Yeah, yeah. And I don't know. I don't know why. I just kind of go, oh. Uh. Have you got any tattoos? What are you going to put on your hand? What is it? You need to run it by me. Yeah, well, it's getting designed, so I'll show you. And what's it, what's the story hand. about the one on your other hand? Oh, no, they're my travelling travel bugs. Yeah. So... I got one in Vegas, Did you? you know, one in one really? in one in Melbourne, wherever I am, and it feels like I'm going to get another one. I just, Interesting. Yeah, yeah. But that's like a first one when I was 17. They've been there for years. Okay. It's not like, yeah, it's been a gradual process. Right. Have you got any? None. None. No. Nah, Drew, mate, you're Lucas, not a man. 
And I, you know, I nearly got one when I was seventeen. I nearly got like a like a scary clown, like a 